greetings from Bohemian Zen. This is Bill, and to the left of me is Jeremy. Hey, what's up? And uh, what you're watching today is a Ghostbusters speed drill video that uh, worked on last night. It took uh, all freaking night, too. I had to <laughs> sit here through all of it. Yeah, the only thing more boring than drawing comics is watching somebody else draw comics. Or Yeah, because the other computer's busted. So yeah, yeah. I, I need oh. to get a new heat. heat <laughs> anyway, um, the new Ghostbusters game came out... Uh, on the 360 and the Wii, and I got the 360 version. I thought it was pretty cool. And I was always a big fan of the uh, franchise whenever I was a kid, so I, uh, I thought maybe to, to do the first proper um, speed draw video with a little bit of voiceover um, using a, doing a Ghostbusters. Uh, I did this one full color, so you can kind of see the whole process. So there was a couple places where the um, the videos uh, uh, crapped out on me, so I, I ended up uh, losing a couple of the pieces of video, but it's still... Uh, Still, uh, pretty pretty much covers the whole process. Uh, Jeremy, I forgot to mention, is the creator of uh, Slip the Living Voodoo Doll and the uh, gag writer for it. He's uh, he's the one that comes up with yeah. Most of the this jokes. this came out of my twist little imagination. <laughs> where did where did you get the idea for Slip? Um, well, it was uh, a couple of years ago when I was working nights at the hotel. Uh, you know, you were like, okay, uh, this. You know, say a name that would make a cool superhero name, and then figure out your powers around the name. And I was like, "Well, how about one named Slit?" And he has to hurt himself in order to, you know, use his powers. And we're like, mm, "That could be interesting." And it just sort of sat in my notebook for half a year, and then, well, you know, I brought reason, it up again. The reason it sat in your notebook for half a year is because it's harder to do than I think it seems. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the the I'm learning that definitely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, just the uh, um. No, by that I meant the premise. It's 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 kind of a. There's times whenever it's tricky to 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 get the gag across. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, Stories take time to build anyway. Well, well, we'll be on that, but you still wanna you still wanna have like um where somebody can just pick like you know just come in on any day and look and see something that you know makes them chuckle because it's like the premise is all in the name. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, it's been fun so far working on it. I mean, yeah. I I've come up with some things that probably. We'll cross the line. We might not touch, but some things we probably will because you never know with us. It's we're gonna be having uh, we're gonna be doing some more uh, slit strips soon. Uh, I, I intend to do uh, a few more while we're uh, getting the last uh, special edition story ready. And um, a couple of the ones coming up where are we talking about cross the line? I think those I think those ones are kind of where it starts. Yes, the. Pedo egg and uh, slit abuses his powers on a poor defenseless little squirrel. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is in the inking stage now. I know we we're just kind of BSing, but we uh, were we were trying to do this a little off the cuff and and, and uh, a little bit differently. But uh, but yeah, we I did uh, lose a chunk of the pencils, but it was just refining the details, and I think it it still came together all right. I did lose a lot of the kind of tech inking on the um, the the backpack and uh, the little trap. Uh, again, I I'd recorded for too long and the, the the file became too big and it corrupted. Uh, I, I guess it, it was just too big for my computer to handle and it just ended up being corrupted. And that stuff, you'll see the uh, colors drop in um, here soon, and that's just where I skipped over and uh, I lost the last of the inking and uh, just went in and flatted beforehand because I didn't figure you'd want to see the flats. It's kind of a boring uh, process. Jeremy yeah. knows all about that. <laughs> yeah, I I'm. But I'm halfway decent at it, at least. I like I like being able to at least contribute at least a little something more, you know. I mean, Jeremy has been uh, playing bitch to uh, my butch graciously, doing some of the flats and and doing things here and there, uh, just to help move things along. And uh, and like Jeremy said, we spent all we we really spent all night in the studio doing this. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and uh, we we I've been up since yesterday around one thirty eight, one thirty in the afternoon. It's yeah, that's probably mid afternoon. afternoon. Yeah. And I work nights, so I mean I'm used to being up all night anyway. But and usually when I'm sleep depraved anyway, I uh, I can that's when my strangest ideas come out. Just with some of the stuff that have you know that you folks have seen already. You know if you've been on our site. Um, yeah, he, he slits down some pretty weird things. Yeah. Well, one of the things we're uh, thinking about doing is the uh, motion comics, taking those that and, as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and um, putting the the slit strips um, 
taking them in Flash and uh, turning them into little motion comics to uh, put up on YouTube. I'm thinking uh, it's you know possible somebody might uh, check it out as a video. You know, I mean, it's uh, more people are going to click a video than are going to cl uh, click to read a comic. Oh, I'm yeah. almost uh, almost done with the cell shading uh, at this point. What I'm doing here is just taking a lighter blue and a uh, multiply layer above it, and uh, going over it with a pretty basic, uh, pretty basic brush with just the uh, pen pressure on the sides so that I can get a nice uh, variance between uh, the thick and thin uh, of the shadow. And one thing though, I always like uh, on you know this is like from with working with Bill here and. Uh, and this watching other videos like these, you know, I, I find one of the most fascinating pro uh, parts of the whole process is the coloring process, because that's when everything comes to life and starts to pop and stand out. The uh, Ghostbusters game, uh, it I I heard some bad reviews on it. I heard some people like just you know completely and totally saying it was oh amazing. I, I've got I've Fantastic. heard mixed got reviews flaws. on it too. Yeah, but I I really like the every way game the has its flaws is. though. You know, I really like the way that it captures the ghost and stuff. It kind of feels like the movie. It's got the same kind of timing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, man. And on the Xbox, the graphics are pretty damn cool. So. I, I want to play the Wii version, though. Yeah, the Wii uh, version looks I've, fun, I've too. heard that the Wii version is supposed to be excellent, but I'm going to have to wait till it's uh, on sale. Wait till I can find it used, like, a uh, yeah. year or two from now. I have to try to bite the bullet and uh, pay for something a little bit more recent than a PS2. <laughs> yeah, I work 40 plus hours every week, so it's kind of hard to find time and energy to devote more time to it. But that's looking to change here pretty soon. So, E.T. Dolman was doing the lettering, and uh, he's—I guess—he's going to school for being a nurse. Uh, and I, you know, my wife did the same thing. I completely understand how much uh, of somebody's time that takes. So. Yeah. I thought, you know, I started doing the lettering myself. I told him, you know, hey, don't worry about it. Concentrate on your school. I don't, yeah. you know. He, he did a, 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 knocked out a lot of pages for us. Yeah, so um, that is definitely a, a, a profession that you need to devote time and attention to there, you know, because <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not going to have a job for very long if you're a bad nurse. And you don't want to accidentally fuck up and kill somebody. Oh, yeah. I, re I wasn't completely happy with the way the theme came out. I thought maybe I'd overdo it a bit much, but I was trying to make it look like the there's there's some power up in the game on multiplayer that you get it and it like makes your your uh, uh, proton beam all like super crazy. So I, I think I think it looks neat. I mean, I like it. I mean, it's a pretty cool effect. Uh, but yeah. Besides, it's a ma it's a ma it's a magical power beam. It's not supposed to look a specific <laughs> way. I guess you get some one of those ones you can do whatever you want with it. I guess it's supposed to be scientific, but it's, you know, it's, it's movie science. You know. 80s movie magic. Yeah. <laughs> See right there, I had a little bit of red and then center it off. I think it, it uh, looks very swell. It's amazing what you can do with uh, the programs on the computer nowadays. It really is. I mean, yeah. I, I think this, in, in general, with the industry, it revolutionized everything. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Well, at first it was like with everything it was you know, uh, done badly and hacked out. Yeah. I'm gonna have a uh, desktops up on the site. Uh, yeah, uh, he has it set up on his right now, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. But uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a. Uh, I'm, I'm in the the four main uh, formats, so uh, we'll have those up on the site here soon, and um. And uh. Anyway, I think this is pretty, getting pretty close to wrapping it up. This is about the end. So, uh, yep. yeah. Well, uh, thank you for stopping by and watching uh, us make stuff. Okay, it's, uh, uh, we'll have, uh, I don't know where the, the next comic schedule or, or schedule to come out, but uh, as, soon as, uh, as soon as we know, it'll be up at the blog at bohemianzen.com. Everybody take care. Peace. Thanks for watching.